Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Gina Diva and we here with another mukbang video. How are you guys? Today we're about to get it in. We got some homemade pasta with some shrimp alfredo and some corn on the cob. Thank you so much. Um, let me fix this real quick. I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're here, um, new to the channel, welcome. I'm your girl Gina Diva. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you for coming back, Zion Diva. All right, so let's get to it. God is good. God is great. Now I thank you for this day. Please, God, let this food that I'm about to eat may nourish my body and bless my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. It's your girl, Gina Diva. We about to eat. Yes, we are. So let me just mix this up. Can I just warm it up a little? Okay. I put it in here so that you guys can see. Ooh, because I know how y'all like to see it drip. Drip, drip. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Look at that. Can you see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's mix this up. Mm. Guys, I'm so hungry. You go, it's for you, it's for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This mm, is the first time that I make shrimp alfredo. Oh. Mm. I left the show on and you know I'm gonna try something different and honestly I'm glad that I left it on it's like the alfredo sauce which disclaimer i did not make it i did not make it mm. it's like it has a shrimp flavor to it and it's not overpowering you know mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. What is up, guys? What you been up to? How has your day been going? Hope you like my hair. I curled it up just for you guys. Mm -hmm. oh. Here's some pasta with the shrimp. Can't get forget that, right? You got some angel hair pasta. Hmm. Mm -mm. 
I see how that tastes. It's not really like a change, you know? Do you know? Mm. This leg is going to be messier than, than regular. Than regular. Mm-mm-mm. I'm so like happy with how it came out, you know. Mm -hmm. Catching a crown. Mm. Okay. Now, there is something that I'm going to talk to you about. You guys are about. Damn. Um, I've been watching this show on HBO, right? I don't know if you guys watched it. I know that there was going to be a series of like, you know, cases of people being locked up. I got some water. And about like mistrials and people that were like locked up for a long period of time that possibly like innocent and stuff um in this case is called the case of Adnan Saeed it's on HBO when they were like doing promo for it it sounded so i don't know why so familiar and i just couldn't get like like why so it comes on um it was about you know this muslim teenager named adnat saeed and he was convicted of killing his 17 year old girlfriend Haley. She was Asian, and uh, you know they come from two different backgrounds. But I don't know, guys. You guys have to watch this from your own, you know, opinion and stuff like that. Um, but you know they talked about how this kid was a great, smart student. You know, on a sports team, um, I think it was track. Loving kid, kind to everyone, um, happy, you know what I mean? That she was as well, you know, the, the victim, um, you know, she was, this was in, back in 1999. God, it seemed like it was yesterday because I was like when I was like growing up and stuff. Um, how old was I then? 1999? 12? Mm hmm. 11, 12. Um, he was convicted, you know. Um, now. There was a friend by the name of Jay. He was African-American. 
and it stated that he supposedly picked him up from the location you know he helped him dig the body but this particular person didn't get arrested didn't get no time didn't he got a slap on the wrist that's what he got right that's so much evidence right but now they're trying to of course break open the case again have a retrial and everything um I was talking about other high school friends that, you know, picked up Jay. They was, like, friends with Jay. This Jay kid had the suspect, you know, who was convicted, Adnan's phone, his car. But yet, Adnan is the one that got arrested, um, you know. And at that time, it was, like, 1999, cell phones were out, but it's not like it was now, so... Like, they had cell phone towers, and back then, it was, like, where your location was. It's where the cell phone towers pinged off your location. It's not, you know, of course, the technology isn't as it is now, you know, as it is today. Um, What, 20, literally 20 years later. Excuse me. The case is... is you know, it's sad, you know, about this poor, poor young girl, 17 years old, you know, in the prime of her life. And, you know, as a mom, it's, like, devastating because they're never going to get that young lady back, you know. And the mother of the, of the convicted guy, Adnan, is so, like, she was crying in one of the episodes that saw I think it was on episode four now. Um, you know, saying that she could hug her son. She could talk to him. She could, you know, she can't really touch him. But, you know, he's alive. And she feels so horrible that, you know, this family is never going to get the child back. But, you know, the his new lawyer, it was just like the lawyer that he... It was there's so much going on. You guys just had like, literally have to really watch this show. It's so... It's so sad to see, like, the mistrial that, like, happened and people were, like, racist and and because he was Muslim, you know, that they didn't let him do certain things, you know, like, they didn't let his lawyer say certain things or things like that. And then it's like the, the prosecutors played against that. There was a witness that puts this Adnan kid in the school library excuse me at the supposed time of death so obviously that is his alibi his law his lawyer at the time never like pursued it mind you the girl wrote notes to adnan and to the lawyer and then the, you know he spoke to the lawyer about it but the lawyer like brushed it off so it's just so much things that like so much like mishaps with the with the with the police officers in the area it was it's just a lot going on and, and for me like i guess spectating because that's what i am it doesn't seem like he did it it seems like he's innocent it seems like everybody that kind of has like a lot to say about this other j kid it seems like you know he's he knows more than he's leading on you know and he has a lot to do with it, but he's, like, trying to, like, pin it on him. You know what I'm saying? And, excuse me, this one particular friend of his that, that picked him up from, from, he, she picked, okay. She picked him up from, supposedly, after they dug the body. So, she picked him up from him, like, where she picked him up, he, this kid Jay was supposedly with Adnan. And picked him up from there. She said that he was like real like weird and funny throughout the day, you know. And like he had Adnan's phone. He had Adnan's car. She didn't think of it. She didn't think twice of it. She says that this is where she picked him up. And she knows. And in 20, like they have now her talking then as a witness. And they have her now as a grown adult. And her story has not changed. She is saying the same thing verbatim. And now this kid Jay story has changed about 10 different times 
he te he tells the the cops that she's wrong that he didn't pick her up at Best Buy, and she's saying no. This is this is where I picked him up. This is what happened. This is you know, and he's saying a whole bunch of different things, and you could tell that this girl it took a toll on her. You know what I mean? Like it probably changed her life because she had to be a witness and everything like that. It's a real. It's a real crazy, a crazy thing, and um, I, I don't know. Everything looks like this poor kid got, you know, a messed up situation done for him because he had to, because he was Muslim, you know. Very sad really sad it seems like he got like a, a mistrial you know because of of his nationality really really sad um, you guys should watch it from your own you know Such a, you know, crazy thing. Like I don't know. You don't know. I don't know if 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 in the next episode something they say changes. You know. But supposedly this, you know, this kid during his time he hasn't gotten into no fights, no. You know. No discrepancies. Everybody seems to like get along with him and. You know, in the trial, the family had said that they were ready to put up their house for, for bail, to make bail. And that three other, you know, people in the community said that they will also put up their house, their homes. As collateral. It was like, whoa. The fact that not only the mom, right, and the father are willing to do this, which of course, right, you have three other people from the community willing to do that. Like that right there is like, and they say, and they're like, oh, you know, they normally, they look at people that, that don't have that, you know, they don't have people willing to put up their homes or their cars or anything like that to post bail, they look at that and they say, well, if nobody will do that, then that means that they, you know, they somebody that is obviously up to no good. So, the fact that he had this, what they did was use that against him and say that how that was cause for him to run away and flee the country. That it's easy for him to get to go to his country's embassy and get a pass. It was just like, whoa, they just kept like using things that normally they don't use, you know. It was sad. You know, and ultimately it's sad. For the victim, you know, it truly is. But it's an interesting series. I, I would like to see like what happens. I know that his new um lawyer was able to. You know, get, I guess, do a retrial.
But see, I'll keep you guys posted. Supposedly there was like, it's just so much. I keep thinking about it. Supposedly there was DNA that wasn't tested. A lot of things. She was missing for a month and then found that her car was in like this parking lot that's over dirt and they went now to the people that owns it and she said that she owns it she's been she's owned this lot for 40 years it has been no other person and that house so they show her the picture like, okay if this didn't move for a month would this be like this and she because the grass underneath it was more like mossy and not like full grown grass it was like more dirt and and she said no if that car was there for a month one we would have definitely notified the person of the car that definitely cars don't even stay here more than a week two for instance let's say if it, if it did there definitely will be more grass grown around it and not like that like but she basically, you know, reiterated that no, there's no way that there's a car there for a month. Not in this parking lot, not in my parking lot. Me or she was saying her husband would have definitely contacted the person or got that that car, um, excuse me, towed. So it was like, whoa, like, not information of that. Oh my God. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a police officer, but you know, I don't You know, it made me really think because I have kids and you know, I was in high school. And you do things, you know, when you're in high school. Like, you know, it's like scary. It's so scary. I'm definitely full, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Danny with your girl, Gina Stevia. Please, if you haven't done so yet, give this video a thumbs up. Thumb it up, thumb it up, thumb it up. Comment down below. Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below if you have any feedback, any thoughts. Any questions, if you want a shout out, comment down below, guys. Um, press that red button right here, right here, right here, right here, wherever it is for you. Press it, press that red subscribe button, subscribe to your girl's channel, become one of my giant divas. I would love to have you a part of the squad. Hit that notification button, that bell, that bell you see right next to my name. Boop, hit that bell. So you never miss a beat when like, your girl posts a video. Follow your girl, Gina Diva, here on social media. You can follow me on Instagram, D-I-N-E-W-I-T-H-J-Y-N-A-D-I-V-A, Dine with Gina Diva. And on Facebook, D-I-N-E-W-I-T-H-J-Y-N-A-D-I-V-A. Thank you so guys so much for thank you, you guys so much for watching. Blah, blah, blah. I love you guys. Until next video. Peace.